this video some of the nuances that happens as a small business owner. Um, I just thought that I would document and capture um, a lot of those uh, nuances um, that don't often get seen up front. Stay on point, baby. Huh? One. So that's the gist of it. Use a payroll service. They decide to use a different payroll service. There are a lot of payroll services out there. Um, I'm just comfortable with ADP. I've been with them for a few years now. Uh, let me give them a JMD application. I'm able to get the W-2s, the I-9s, able to have them scan and upload um, like uh, their ID, copy of their social security card. Plan. Yeah, so I thought, um, again, that I would share a uh, bird's eye view. So, you know, sometimes one of your hats is going to be uh, the head administrator, <laughs> where you're inputting data in, whether that's onboarding a new customer um, or you're onboarding a uh, employee. Methods, processes, and procedures on how to do um, each task. So whether that's onboarding a new customer or you're onboarding a new employee. Small business owner, people are only going to take you as serious as you take yourself. About having a reputable payroll service I'm able to get a customer service representative on the phone and get my problems resolved practically always in real time if you haven't done so already now will be a good time for you to subscribe to our channel JMD Janitorial. All right, so now that I got the representative off the phone, um, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and finish continue processing my payroll. Um, it's a weekly payroll cycle for us, so I am certainly used to uh, the ins and outs, but again, I had a few issues that I ran across that I was unfamiliar with, and it was just that easy to get somebody on the phone. And to me, time versus savings. You know, again, um, and this is the moral of this particular story and brings me all the way back to bring this full circle. When people say, hey man, you know, yeah, I have a payroll service or I have an aunt that does it for me. Um, you know, what if your aunt can't answer your questions in real time? You know, and yeah, it can be cleaned up on the back end, but that's gonna be by your accountant. You're going to pay the piper. So for me, being that I am going to pay the piper, you know, it just behooves me to go right through a professional payroll service. Um, they're a part of my team. They're a part of my network. So when I need real time answers, I give them a call. I give uh, get a customer rep on the phone and speak with them respectfully like I would anyone else in the public or in general employees or somebody within my network and essentially they are your back office payroll department because you're processing the payroll you have a question you can get somebody on the phone right away and you can get things done in real time so those are the benefits of having a professional payroll service help you out um, because you're going to pay the piper so you're paying them a fee okay good Anytime you need documents, anytime you need somebody to on the, get someone on the phone, you can get them on the phone just like that. Because you're processing the payroll, you have a question, you can get somebody on the phone right away, and you can get things done in real time. But all that's included with that payroll service, in my opinion, you know, it behooves me to use a professional payroll service. It's easier to deal with when they already have the structure in place to deal with the state, to deal with the federal government. Any documents you may need, 
you'll be able to get it right at your disposal. Um, you know, I knew a lot of people who had issues uh, getting money through the PPP. Put the fraud aside that occurred, but there were legitimate people who were trying to get legitimate businesses who were trying to get the PPP and got denied more than one time because all their ducks were not in line. And then they were unable to grab the bull by the horn. It was a little bit more seamless because I had a professional payroll service and they had the documents and had it tailor made for me specifically to fit um, inside. It was basically the key to fit in the lock for the PPP program, if that analogy makes sense to you. Thanks for watching another JMD janitorial, some behind the scene footage and the nuances that it takes to operate a uh, business enterprise.